top tips to candle wick testing wooden wick edition so testing my candles was actually a very long process but i'm here to share some tips with you that i've learned to hopefully help you make your wick testing shorter <laughs> if you're new here and you're not yet subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button so whenever i started testing my candles I really didn't know where to start. I knew that I wanted my candles to have a wooden wick, but I didn't know. It was so confusing. Like when you go on the website, all these numbers and stuff, I was like, what is going on? So if you don't know where to start, I'm here to help you. The first thing you have to do is go to mixy.com and take their wooden wick guide quiz. That is the first thing that I did and that was very helpful. You put in the information of your candle jar and what kind of wax you're using and all that good stuff and it actually gives you an idea to where to start next thing is buying a wooden wick sample kit this is extremely helpful for a lot of things first of all you you have all their sizes and all the type of wooden wick that they offer you have them there and you can try them and also it's it's very good because you have them there and you don't have to keep going back and forth ordering this size and the other size no just order the sample kit and you'll have all the sizes and then you can just test them all. Document everything. Have a notebook or on your phone and write down how each and every wig burned. You guys don't understand the amount of time that I was trusting my mind to remember this would didn't work or this would did burn or this, this, this would burn good. And I didn't write it down and I had to retest a size of a wooden wick because I just didn't write it I didn't I didn't write it down I wasn't keeping notes so I had to re that's why my process like I mentioned in the beginning my testing process was so long because in the beginning I really wasn't um, t writing anything down I was just like testing it looking at it if I like that I like it if it didn't work it didn't work and then I would forget if I tested that size of the a wick or he was just a whole mess so make sure you document everything take pictures if you have to on your phone keep notes on your phone or have a notebook and i'll just document everything burn the full candle before you make a decision the way a wick is going to burn at the top is not the same way that it's going to burn at the bottom so you may feel you may think oh this wick is too small it's tunneling on the first burn but as the candle burns more and more, think about it. The wick is lower, so it's gonna start burning the sides more because it's gonna be it's gonna be getting hotter, and it might be a better wick than if you size up, thinking that it's tunneling. And then when you get to the bottom, that bigger wick is just gonna be too hot for your candle. So make sure that you are burning the candle all the way down, so you can so you know how your candles burn at the top and when it's at the bottom, almost empty. One thing I want to mention as well is whenever I was testing my candles, there was a tip that I learned and is to not glue the wick at the bottom. So you just do your candle without any wick and then you just put whichever wooden wick you want. And you know, because it's not, it's not glued at the bottom, so it's easier for you to take it out if you don't think it's working and um, put a new one in. But I honestly did it that way and I am not a big fan. I don't like that way of wick testing because... When you get lower to the jar, remember that your wick is not glued. So once it starts melting, the wick moves. So you're not testing effectively if you think about it. That what's happened to me before, the wick, since it's not glued at the bottom, the wick had tilted over because it was too low on the jar and it would not be centered. It um it's just it's just not a method that I so I would recommend doing. If you are going to uh, test your wigs, make sure that you're gluing them to the bottom. Because I tried it and I, it's not something I recommend. That is it for this video. If you have any other tips that you would like to include, make sure to leave them down in the comments. If you are not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button. See you guys in my next video. Bye!